Today I'm going to show you a couple of examples on how to rotate a shape onto a coordinate grid. So let's have a look at example one. So we've got a rotate shape A 90 degrees clockwise about the point zero zero. So the first thing you need to do is just mark on the centre of rotation which is zero zero. So that's the centre of the grid. Uh, next thing you need is some tracing paper. So if you trace your shape and make sure you can fit in the centre of rotation. Uh, it's a good idea to keep your tracing paper level with the page. So next thing you need to do is put your pencil onto the centre of rotation. So we've got to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. So 90 degrees turn is a quarter turn. So our tracing paper needs to be turned around a quarter. Okay, also make sure you do it clockwise. So there you go, that's a quarter turn. So once you've done that, all you need to do is mark on the points on your page. So if you just have a look underneath the tracing paper. There we go. And just join the points up with your ruler once you've finished. So let's move on to example two. So on this one we've got a rotate shape B 180 degrees clockwise about the point one comma two. So first of all mark the centre of rotation which is at one two. So if you now get your tracing paper so if you trace your shape, make sure you can fit in the centre of rotation. So we're going to put the pencil on the centre of rotation. So this time it was 180 degrees clockwise turn. So a 180 degree turn is half a turn. Um, and this one's got to go in a clockwise direction. So if we turn our tracing paper half way around, take your pencil off. So if you just nudge the tracing paper to make sure the shape is fitting nicely onto the corners. So if you mark these corners out, and then just join the points up neatly using your ruler.